The first winter after I was diagnosed with ALS, I was admiring the snow-covered pines near our home and recall wondering how many more times I get to enjoy that. But as seasons pass and years pass, I realized I wasn't dying from ALS, I was living with it. I'm a retired primary care physician. I was unfortunately forced to retire early because of my ALS diagnosis six years ago. People inevitably lose the ability to walk, move, eat, speak, and breathe. Unfortunately, there is no known cure. Shortly after my diagnosis, I knew I wanted to get involved in the ALS community. I liken ALS advocacy to a long distance relay where they know they're working for the same goal. After my diagnosis, I could feel myself internalizing the identity of a disabled person. I look at people in wheelchairs and I feel this connection to them. And I think about the things that I know my grandchildren get out of seeing me with a physical limitation. I know that their watching me gives them a respect for people who have physical differences. So even though I can't run around with them, I'm giving them something that's less tangible. After I'm gone, I think that the way I've lived is what I want my kids and wife and family to remember. My name is Joel Shemaskin, and this is my brief but spectacular take on living with ALS.